Good morning, fruitcakes. It's your boy, Traj. I hope you guys got some good sleep this morning. Hope you had some majestic dreams. You know, I, me simply, I, I just dream about Chick-fil-A and chunky cats every night, but that's just me. Also, you might be thinking that I sound like fucking shit, and that's because I feel like fucking shit. I woke up and I just don't feel too hot, so I do apologize for that. I'm just gonna hope it's just like shitty allergies or something. But in today's video, we're going to take the time to go over the state of Rogue Company. Um, the beta has been out for about three months, so it's that's a really good indicator kind of, uh, you know, where the game's headed, if it's worth picking up for new players, if the game's growing, if the game's dying. Um, so that's kind of everything we're going to recap today. So in order to understand, you know, uh, or to get a good indicator, what the hell am I saying? In order to know if a game is headed in the shitter or not, it's important to reflect on the, you know, where it's come from, how far it's come in the past two months. I have to redo that. So, in order to know, you know, where something is headed, it's really important to kind of analyze where it's come from. You know, how far has this thing come? Um, are the developers, are they listening to players? Are they fixing issues? Are they, are they adding dumb shit? You know, are they just trying to take our fucking money? You know, these are things that you want to look at. Um, so let's do that. So three months ago, you know, let's take a let's take a step back, fucking all the way back three months ago. Um, Jimmy Jacob and Johnny, they they've been playing Fortnite now for five thousand two hundred and fifty eight days straight. You know, they're 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 just it's all they know. It's all they can fucking think about. When all of a sudden they see that their favorite streamer is playing some game called Rogue Company. What the hell is this? So they take a look at it. It's like a 4v4 um, objective, you know, you have one life. It's like Valorant, but it doesn't make you fall asleep. It's like Call of Duty, but it doesn't get fucking boring after four weeks. Um, it's a little bit like Apex and Overwatch in a sense as well. So a lot of these big popular titles kind of morph together, and it seems that this game is just the, all the best things from all of them. You know, that might be what people thought when they first saw this. You know, you can spend money in the beginning of each round. Um, almost like uh, Counter-Strike. There's just a lot of cool shit that they took from other games. Um, and on top of that, you know, there's rogues, there's different characters who have their own abilities, their own specific guns, so it's not like everyone's running around as, uh, you know, the same person. So it's unique, you know, that people aren't used to this. So what happened is the game in its first few weeks, you know, a lot of new players uh, came on board. Uh, they were buying the $15 beta, the $30 betas, some people bought the $60 version. So what was happening is this game, which is essentially just a business, like anything else, it was making income. You know, it was starting to get money, and it was growing a bit. Now, what happens when businesses grow like this, they're able to... to branch out and fucking get creative and do more things so that's what happens you know the, the game came out with the map vice they came out with the map lockdown they also came out with uh, a few game modes just limited time game modes and they announced that they're dropping a store so that's what happens i mean the game gets money and they put it right back into their product um keep in mind it's only been about nine weeks or uh, about 12 12 to 14 weeks since the game came out um, and they, it's not like a title like Call of Duty or Fortnite or, you know, Apex, like, this game dropped and it needed to make money in order to do the things that the, you know, developers want to do. Um, and it, and it made their money and that's what they're doing. So, it's really important to look at these things, you know, it, if they're rolling out new content as the game goes on, if they're putting a lot of thought and effort into the content, you know, are the new rogues balanced? Well, that's another category. I don't want to talk about fixers being OP right now. Um, but that's something you have to look at. You know, are they putting effort into these updates? Are these maps cool? And, and you can say Dr. Disrespect's map definitely took a lot of effort. That thing is detailed as shit. Um, which, by the way, is just the funniest thing to me. Dr. Disrespect, he calls himself the two-time champ. And I love the guy. I love Dr. Disrespect. It's just too funny because he won a blockbuster fucking NBA live tournament back in the 1990s. <laughs> and that's why he's the two-time champ. So that's just a quick history lesson. Um, but anyway, you know, the game, it is growing. They're rolling out new shit. They started talking about ranked, battle pass, stores, rogue tier, rogue rank mastery, where you get XP based on how much you play a specific rogue. So, I mean, this shit, you know, they're, they're really putting forth the effort and they're getting creative with it. Um, and this will give you a good idea, you know, where this game's gonna head in the next few months, which is what we're gonna talk about next. But again, just to recap, you know, what they did in the last few months, um, it's really important to also understand that everything that the players that we ask, ask them to do, and everything that they say they're gonna do, they do. 
you know, and that's huge for games. You know, we're not sitting here for six months to a year at, for a simple fix. I understand right now there's several bugs in the game. Trust me, I know more than anybody. I've been playing every fucking day since Ranked came out like a crackhead. Um, but, you know, these bugs, they're going to fix them. You know, they wanted to get us ranked because that's what everyone was demanding. So they did that. What happened is some bugs came up. That's inevitable. Um, so just understanding that they are doing what they say they're going to do. And they are listening to us. You know, Ranked is out. They're fucking... They're probably working on the battle pass. I know that they've dropped, you know, several maps in Rogues. So again, all very strong signs that Rogue Company is going to be a very playable game with, you know, a big f player pool for months and months to come. Um, the game's constantly growing. There's a shit ton of players grinding to hit rank 30 right now, or level 30, so they can play ranked. You know, ranked brought a lot of people into the mix. And as time goes, you know, I think this game could, it could explode as one of the top titles. That's truly what I think, and I'm going to explain why. So in the next few months... This is what Rogue Company would need to do, in my opinion, in order to hit their maximum potential as far as player base and uh, just, you know, getting exposure. Um, I think they need to, first off, before they add, you know, anything else, any any rogues, any maps, any fixes to maps, all we need is just to get them server stable again. I remember... There used to be a peaceful time before these servers were fucked up, and it was actually only like a week or two ago. Um, but I know since they dropped ranks, the servers are just buggy. You know, PlayStation players are blue screening, Xbox players can't hear audio in their clips, they can't fucking. They're crashing during games too. And that, that's not exciting for anybody. It's probably fucking up the ranked experience for a lot of people. Um, so I think they, they gotta really pay attention to these bugs before they start adding new content. I think that's most important. Second, I think they need to get some bigger streamers to play this game. Now, I heard personally that that contract or whatever they did with Dr. Disrespect with his character and his map and, his, and all that shit, I think that made it so other streamers, Twitch streamers, can't play the game. I don't. That was definitely not their intention. But I, I heard Shroud say he won't he won't play it because he's scared if he gets Dr. Disrespect's map he'll get suspended or something because of how strict Twitch is with Dr. Disrespect. So I think they really have to fix that. I think that's a very important thing, you know, get this All game right, in front of as many players as possible. Um, but where that where I mean this the game's in season zero. I remember Apex in season zero was a shit show. Just like slow down and so just think about here. that. By the time Season 1 comes around, we could have a refined rank system, clean servers, 2-3 to three new rogues, a battle pass, and a few new maps. I mean, in my opinion, this game is as playable as any, as it is. So after they polish it up, and I mean, there's, there, it just has such a, uh, such a bright potential, I feel like. A bright future, I guess, would be the word. Um, but yeah, no, I really do think it is, man. We, we just have to sit back and look at, you know, all the, all the progress the game's made. It's only been three months. When the battle pass comes out, the game's gonna get even more money from us, and it, they simply need money to, to get this thing going. The game used to be $15, and now it's free. Why do you think that is? They made uh, enough money so to say, okay, voice. let's let's launch this thing. Let's make it free to play. We'll sell cosmetics. You know, well, let's let's get this thing going. But that's all that's for today, homies. Do, Have baby. a good day. Peace out. Have they stories, they be